off tomorrow at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and fans of the track will be able to see a race team honoring racer Brian Clawson. Yeah, the Driven to Save Lives Education Garage is dedicated to organ tissue and eye donation. Our Indy 500 correspondent, Laura Steele, talked with racer Pippa Mann about Clawson's legacy. We are here in the garage area, a very special spot at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. A spot that could help inspire people to save lives by becoming an organ donor. I'm joined by Pippa Mann, who is the pilot of the number 39 car, and also Kevin Krause, who has a story of death and life in the organ donor stories that we've heard. This is a very cool spot. Tell me about the garage that we are in, Pippa Man. So we're actually standing in the Driven to Save Lives garage, and right now the Driven to Save Lives campaign is honoring my friend, Brian Clawson. Brian is no longer with us, but I am honored this May to be driving a Clawson Marshall Racing entry, carrying the Driven to Save Lives campaign, honoring Brian. For me, that's pretty special. And then one of the other special things about my car is I'm also carrying another logo to honor another friend, rather a friend's daughter who's no longer here. Okay, Kevin Krause, tell me about your story and your daughter. Well, in uh, August of 2014, uh, we lost my middle daughter, Elise Kraus, to a traumatic brain injury due to a car accident. And subsequent to that, her mother and I allowed her to become an organ donor. And she went on to save a few lives uh, through that, as well as restore the sight of a few other people. So uh, while it was an emotional time for us and a very difficult decision, uh, long term, we feel very good about the fact that Elise has gone on to help other people. And you two have a history, I understand. <laughs> we do. You and Pippa. We do. She she doesn't often like to say this, but I actually spotted for her here at the Speedway years ago in uh, one of our first in, uh, meetings, and we've subsequently worked together uh, very closely in, with another automotive manufacturing program, and we've gotten to be very close friends. And, and just this uh, couple of months ago, Pippa called me the, the morning after. She said, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I felt like I just had to do this to make it happen for the Elise Foundation logo to be on my car for this year's 500. And I said I understand the commercial aspects that you know if you need to sell that space by all means do it but if you can make that work we would love it and she came back to me uh, within the last few weeks and said it's it's a done deal it's gonna happen and I'm so and our whole family is so eternally grateful to Pippa for making that happen that we get to be on uh, you know affiliated with this great Claus and Marshall program and the, and the great you know driven to save lives organ donation program I, I jokingly said to her and I say to my friends now I said <laughs> lo and behold here we are all these years later and sure enough we finally get a Kraus in the 500 so. There you go, together again, together again. Well, thank you so much for sharing the story. It should be noted that here in this garage, just beyond uh, the Pagoda and Gasoline Alley, you can get registered to become an organ donor. We'll come back with more on that in just a little bit. I'm Laura Steele at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Wow, what a beautiful story. Absolutely. Well done, Pippa Man. That's awesome. Um, hey, reminder, gates open for the Grand Prix at 7.30. Indy Lights qualifying is at 8.30. And they race at 115. The green flag will drop on IndyCar race at 350. Tickets start at $30. Sports director Anthony Calhoun is also at the track right now. He'll have a live report for us coming up at 540.